Guy de Maupassa, born in France, is believed by many as the master of the French short story form. He based most of his stories against the backdrop of the Franco-Prussian War, which had affected him profoundly. Throughout his life, he wrote over 300 short stories. Notable among them were Beau de Sauf, The Necklace, The Piece of String, found on a drowned man, the rack, etc. His writings are known for satirical portrayal of the upper class French society, unexpected plot twists, moral lessons, and pessimism. The short story The Necklace was first published in the year 1884 in a French newspaper, Les Gaulis. In the story, Moapasa portrays the desire of Madame Loisel to belong to the French aristocracy. This desire leads to tragedy when she loses a diamond necklace loaned to her by her friend. In showing the life of Madame Loisel, Moapasa is indirectly criticizing the aristocracy as well as Loisel's desperate desire to belong to the society. So, let us see the summary of the short story, The Necklace by Guy de Maupassa. Matilda or Ma'am Loisel was a pretty young lady. Though born to a family of clerks, she believed herself entitled to a life of luxury. Knowing she had no chance of bettering her situation, Ma'am Loisel married a clerk in the office of the Board of Education. She was unhappy with her apartment, with its worn-down walls and chairs, while her husband enjoyed the simple comforts of a pot pie. Ma'am Loisel dreamed of exquisitely prepared dinners and shining silver dishes. One day, her husband came home delighted. He handed an envelope to Ma'am Loisel. The envelope contained an invitation to a ball hosted by the Minister of Public Instruction. Instead of being delighted, Ma'am Loisel was upset. Her husband, surprised, remarked that it should make her happy since it was a rare honor. Madame Loisel in turn informed her husband that she had no suitable dress for that gracious occasion. She asked him to give the invitation to someone better outfitted for it than her. Her husband consolingly asks her to buy a new dress. Though he had been saving money for a new gun, he gives that amount to his wife to buy a new dress. As the day of the ball approached, Mr. Loisel noticed that his wife was upset even though her dress was ready. Upon asking, she replied that she had no jewel to wear with that dress. Her husband told Matilda to ask her friend, Madame Forster, to lend one of her jewels to her. So, Madame Loisel visited Madame Forrester the next day to ask for a jewel. Madame Forrester graciously opened her jewel box and asked her to choose. Matilda tried a few jewels but was not happy with either of them. So, Madame Forrester produced another case of jewels for Matilda to try out. Suddenly, Matilda noticed a beautiful diamond necklace in a black satin box. Matilda was entranced by the diamond necklace. Hesitatingly, she asked Madame Forrester whether she could borrow the necklace. Madame Forrester agreed and Matilda went home with the necklace happily. At the ball, Matilda was a huge success. She was the most elegant and the prettiest of all the ladies and enjoyed the attention and admiration of men. She danced and enjoyed herself till early in the morning. At four o'clock, the Loisels left the minister's residence. Not wanting the other rich ladies to see her shabby coat, Matilda hurried down the steps despite her husband's protests. They had to walk for a while before they found a carriage which would take them home. 
once home, Matilda removed her coat to admire herself one last time. However, once she did so, she realized that the necklace was missing. Ma'am Loisel, her husband, though tired, went out in the cold night to look for the necklace but unfortunately could not find it. The next day, he put an ad in the paper and asked Matilda to write to Madame Forrester saying that she had broken a collapse. Man Loisel then realized that their only option was to replace the necklace. They found a similar necklace in a shop which they could buy for 36,000 francs. Man Loisel used all his savings and borrowed the rest of the money to buy the necklace. Madame Loisel then returned the necklace to Madame Forrester. The Loisels now are in debt. They had to change homes and Matilda learned kitchen work to help her husband repay their debt. Her husband worked days and night taking on any work to repay the money that they had borrowed. All this work took a toll on Madame Loisel. She lost her good looks. She had red hands and spoke in a loud tone. She no longer had time for daydreaming, but sometimes she would sit and remember the night of the ball. One day, while taking a walk, she saw Madame Forrester with her child. She decided to approach Madame Forrester. Madame Forrester was surprised by Matilda's appearance. Matilda then told her the story of the necklace and how it changed her life. On hearing this, Madame Forrester exclaimed that her necklace was not even worth 500 francs and was an imitation. Thank you.